What's up guys and welcome back to yet another crispy dubs cards video. I am Rich. I am your host. I have Jeff in my ear today. You don't hear him, but I do. And today we got something very extra special. Something I've opened up. This is my very first time opening it and it comes with a little bonus. Something I was super excited to find at the store. So uh, I hope you guys are excited as I am. Uh, but before I show it off, uh, make sure you guys are hitting that like button if you see anything you like today slapping that that uh subscribe uh hitting the bell doing all that fun stuff uh you know hit it with a big old rock bottom that would really help me out i know jeff would be happy he'd stop yelling at me to get more people to subscribe uh he's a big meanie so yeah all right guys so today i know i'm gonna jump right into this because we got some cool stuff to open so first and foremost i was able to acquire this amazing lunchbox i love this thing uh, big fan of the NWO back in the WCW days. Uh, now, this isn't the only thing that I got. Now, what I'm opening is inside. So, let's set this thing down. Let's pop it open. And what do we have inside? That would be two Top's Finest WWE. So, pretty excited about uh, opening this up as everything goes crashing down behind. Uh, yeah, pretty excited to open this stuff. Uh, I am a wrestling fan. If, you, if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you know this. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a fun one. We'll set that there. Hogan will be watching us. So, um, yeah, Top's Finest. Uh, it's a if you know anything about uh, the Topps brand, uh, this is one of their flagship products. I open up these so I didn't have to fight with the plastic. Uh, it's one of the flagship products of like really high end. I'm actually surprised they even have a retail version of this, just because it is. This one has feels like it has a lot more cards or packs in it than this one. Um, yeah, this one feels, what is it, how many, how many packs do we get in these, seven? And then seven, alright, cool, awesome. Alright guys, let's dig in, let's have some fun, and see what we can find. So, Top's Finest, some of the coolest designs. So we're going to have some fun with this. All right, here we go. We have an Omos, Mandy Rose. We have a Prism of Dominic Mysterio and Matt Riddle. But look at that design. That is awesome. One of the higher-end baseball designs for this. It's just done really well. Let's turn that off so we get a little bit better light. All right. Jinder Mahal, Bobby Lashley, Shayna Baszler, and Nia Jax. Alright, you can pull autos out of this. You can pull numbered cards. All that fun stuff. Ray Mysterio. Zelina Vega. Elias. And Dana Brooke. Here we go. Hoping to pull an auto. That would be really cool. That would be pretty cool. Alright, Io Shirai. Drew McIntyre. John Morrison. And Alexa Bliss. All right, three more to go in this first one. I've seen this stuff all over the place. So it must be uh, fairly popular. Paul Heyman, Bianca Belair, Prism. Razor Ramon, that's going to go into the uh, collection right there. Just passed away. And Cesaro. All right, here we go. Aaliyah. Ember Moon, Becky Lynch Prism, and a Oni Lorcan. Last one, first blaster. Come on, give us a numbered card. Give us something fun. Give us a backwards card. That would be awesome. All right, Candice LeRae, Commander Aziz, Rick Boogs, and a Drake Maverick. So the first one was a bust, but this last one has some very thick packs. So fingers crossed. All right, here we go. 
Sami Zayn, Adam Cole, Mace, and Big E. We'll keep those piles separate just so we can compare them. Maybe there's just more air in these packs. I don't know. All right, James Drake, Roddy Strong, Tegan Knox, Prism, and a Shelton Benjamin. Come on, I feel an auto coming on. I feel an auto coming on. Hey, that's John Cena. Actually, I think we got an auto. I'm not going to lie, in this pack. That's a John Cena on the front. Robert Roode, we're going to pull from the back. That's a Mustafa Ali. Actually, what we'll do is we'll take Mr. Ali, put him right there. I'm not going to slow, I'm not going to take it to the end. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, wow. Uh, that is a Drew McIntyre, 37 of 50. That is awesome. Wow. I mean, it's a big, yeah, no, he's, he's, I mean, that's a big pull. That's a big pull. Yeah. His autograph, his autograph is wild. I don't think he knew what he wanted to do with it. <laughs> All right. Titus O'Neil. Randy Orton. There's a Legacies, Undertaker, and Jeff Hardy. That's pretty cool. Put that back there. And Elias. All right, we have three more packs to go. We're looking for... Let's give us a numbered card. How about that? Give us a numbered card. Naomi. Seamus Prism. Tony Storm. And a Bucky Lunch. All right, two more to go. If you guys are wrestling fans and you're thinking about picking this up, let me know if you would after watching this. Because, you know, some people, maybe they wouldn't, you know. Carrillo, Tozawa, Tegan Knox, and a Kofi Kingston. Although, I will say, I mean, that's a autograph to 50 out of retail. And these cards look phenomenal. If you're a wrestling fan, just do it. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Oh, we got a green. Nice. Tony Storm. We have a Rumble Pops for Mr. John Cena. And a numbered card, 49, 46 of 99 of our truth Very cool, look at that, and a numbered card. And we're going to finish it up with a mace. So guys, that was, I mean, so we got the, the green to 99. Nice little John Cena. Legacies, Undertaker, and Jeff Hardy. This fantastic Drew McIntyre auto to 50. That's Awesome. And then the Razor. Gotta give it up to him. R.I.P. Mr. Scott Hall. Uh, I mean, this channel does a lot of reviews for products that you can pick up at, at your local Walmart, at your local Meyer, at your local Target, all that stuff like that. Now, um, would I recommend this for somebody like Jeff who's not a wrestling fan? No. Only because he doesn't. he's not going to know anybody. It's not really going to mean anything to him. But would I recommend it to, like, somebody who wants to get into it or somebody who is a fan? Absolutely. These cards are beautiful. I mean, they literally take the style from, you know, from the baseball. You get lots of cool insert-looking cards. They're clean. The photography is great. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it's they're done really well. Um, it's definitely, yeah, it. it and you can, you can get these tombstone cards. I haven't seen those yet, but apparently they're pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I mean, 100%. I would honestly, just because it is, it's a very niche, I would probably give it, I mean, I would still give it four stars because it's, it's finest. It's top's finest. And top's, I mean, it's finest for a reason. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give it four chicken legs. Not stars, chicken legs. Um, yeah, and you probably will see me open more of this. I, uh, I, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I know my nephews have some too that they were opening. Um, I got them some, uh, so I'll have to see what they, uh, what they got. See if they got anything cool out of theirs. And, uh, yeah, you, will, you guys will get that in the next video too. Uh, if you liked anything about this video, if you, you know, maybe you decided, oh, I want to get this or I don't want to get this, let me know in the comments below. Slap a like on the video if you learned anything, even if it was good, bad, you know, neutral, whatever. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Do all that fun stuff. And uh, go check out the Instagram and eBay. 
those will be in the description and uh yeah i think that's gonna do it guys uh you may notice a good friend is back on the uh the table and that would be mr coco crisp figured he should come back baseball season starting back so i feel like he uh he deserved his spot back all right guys we're done we're out of here but we only have one more thing to do and that is say bye coco see you later <laughs>